hadn't planned this video yesterday when I climbed the mountain, as I wasn't expecting to come across any so-called watermelon snow. I'd read about it, but I always thought I'd never come across it, because it can only be found in very specific places at very specific times. You can imagine my surprise when I came over the edge of that mountain and saw ahead of me a massive plain of watermelon snow. So watermelon snow, also referred to as blood snow or snow algae, gets its name from its appearance. The snow appears pinkish red, just like a watermelon, almost as if it's blood stained. It's caused by an algal bloom in the summer by a specific algae that thrives in very cold water. In the winter, the algae is dormant, it's buried under the nice fresh snow, and it waits until summer where the increased light levels and meltwater can stimulate germination. It's red because it contains a special pigment that protects it from UV, much like sun cream. The red colour also absorbs lots of light from the sun, which makes it heat up and melts the snow immediately around it, providing it with fresh water that it can use. Finally, it's also bad for climate change because obviously the snow is not white anymore, it's red or pink, so it absorbs all the heat that it would have reflected away, which means that it heats up a lot quicker, heating up the Arctic even faster than it's already heating up, and melts the snow a lot quicker. So there you have it. Next time you're out hiking in the mountains and you go up somewhere high where there's still snow, keep a lookout for some watermelon snow. <laughs>